Pilgrims in Medjugorje are reacting to news. Pope Francis has given the faithful his okay to make pilgrimages to the Bosnian shrine. This woman from Italy hopes people visit and calls the site a holy place. In 1981, six children and teenagers said they saw apparitions of Mary on a hill in the village. Last year, one million people flocked to pray there. Father Paul Hafner, a lecturer at the Pontifical Gregorian University and the author of The Mystery of Mary, joins us from Rome. Father, the Vatican has not authenticated these visions yet. A commission set up by Pope Benedict XVI is still studying them. So why do you think Pope Francis is giving pilgrims the green light to visit? Lauren, Pope Francis is very kindly and generously given this green light for pastoral reasons because he sees that the fruits of pilgrimages to Major Gorge are resulting in conversions in a greater devotion in the Christian life in devotion to Our Lady but he's not saying a final this is an approved apparition yet. All right, so can you give us a snapshot of these, I guess, alleged apparitions and the controversy around them? Every year, millions of people still visit this site. Uh, Lauren, the apparitions, as I've described in my uh, other book, Daily, Daily Sing to Mary, which deals with uh, different feast days and apparitions of Our Lady. And on the 24th of June, I've explained that over a period of years, six visionaries have had uh, messages from Our Lady. And I think these visions and messages actually still continue. I think the basic takeaway message of Major Gorge is Our Lady of Peace. Our Lady is calling for peace, but not a type of peace which is just the absence of war. It's a peace which starts in the heart and in the soul and is a fruit of conversion, therefore turning away from sin. It's not a political solution or an economic solution. It's a divine gift. I think in the local language the word is mere peace. That's the basic message of Medjugorje. Father, why is there so much interest in this area of the world? Oh, thank you for asking, Lauren. Because that area was a war-torn area, if you remember. It's, I believe, Croatia, which is uh, part of the ex-Yugoslavia. And for many years, there were terrible wars down there. Our Lady prophesied effectively that there would be wars, just as she did in Africa, in other apparitions. And she's tried to bring peace. And that requires from us, as women and men of today, to cooperate with her gift, to accept the gift of her son, which is a gift of peace. Thank you so much, Father Paul Hafner of the Pontifical Gregorian University and the author of The Mystery of Mary. And daily, daily sing to Mary. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Take care.